cow elections are almost here. Here we go. I'm outside. Did you see the sun setting? They got a football game going over there. I'm walking around because you know as they say, not good to be sitting around for too long in one area. <clears throat> oh nuts, they got the peppers. No, these aren't ready yet. Oh man. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Here's some jalapenos for me. Uh snag the Ah, nuts. This oh wait, I see a pepper. Oh, I see a good pepper. Oh, this one's ready. Yep. Good pepper. Let me just get this here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely done in there. I'll dig up some carrots here. Got a zucchetti over here. We got another zucchetti over here somewhere. <coughs> there was a zucchetti over there. I think they got that one. I think they got the other thing. Any tomatoes? Yeah, I think they got all oh, the tomatoes there was. But yeah, so uh, to get back to what I was talking about here. You know, we got the elections coming up and everything. <coughs> and all that jazz. So, what do you think of uh, all of this election stuff, crazy stuff going on here? I mean, it is getting pretty crazy and all that jazz. So that's what I'm basically going to be asking you questions this week and see how where you're at with all this. Uh, how am I with all this? I think it's some, in some cases it's got a little bit out of hand. It's become a pissing contest between mainly Romney and Romney himself. You know, he has a pissing contest between himself. Yeah, we're all just a bit a little crazy. So. That's where I stand. Uh, Mac for the same. Catch you all later. That's right, people. The election's almost here. Can you believe it? Yeah, November 6th. Coming up fast. Okay, everybody. What else? What else? Well, uh, since the elections are coming up real soon, I thought I'd go over the characteristics of. Uh, president, you know, things that I've seen in past presidents and so forth. So, uh, one, <coughs> good at delegating. That's a good characteristic to have. Number two, not to be a bragger, cocky, or over barren. <coughs> a good uh, demeanor. You know, has a smile. What else? And knows when to let loose. And knows when to be serious. And these are just a few. I'll be naming off some more later, and then I'll be asking you a question. Well, I'm about to watch a little Netflix here, and this is some qualities uh, that I've seen in presence in the years past. I'll just keep on, you know. About maybe 10 to 15 more. All right, catch you all a little bit later. About to watch some Netflix here. Peace out for now. As you can see here, it is definitely nighttime. Yes, sirree. Sun setting, it's evening now. I think someone moved into that house over there because they're really going to town on it. Or decided not to sell it after all. Yeah, I'm headed up to the square now. Luckily this camera is good with low light. Because it is very low light. And it would have been a, a few clouds. So it would have been a, a decent but not a great sunset. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying. Characteristics of a president. So I mentioned some in the last part of this vlog. <coughs> so here's some more. Let's see what else is good. Characteristics to have a present. Oh, here's one. Someone, I think, yeah. Someone who knows 
when to ask for help. I mean, just in any leadership, but especially for president. Uh, what else? Uh, quick recap, I said uh, integrity, responsibility, knows when to delegate, knows when to be serious, knows when to have fun. Um, yeah. So basically, yeah, that's what's up. So just a little recap of what I said yesterday. So add on to that, like I said, <coughs> um, they also used to be <coughs> the charismatic. <coughs> uh, just the leader in general has to know who he is and all that jazz. So yeah. That's what <coughs> leader car. Leader has to have integrity. I said that already. Um, so yeah, this is, those are some main characters I've seen. And all presidents have had <coughs> multiple or one of them. Now, of course, we're not going to get anybody with you know all the perfect leadership skills. Even the world's greatest, you know, one hundred percent great leaders, they still have their flaws. But at least with them, they're upfront and they're straight with you. And they're not going to pull any bullshit around you. That's what they do, man. It's pulling no bullshit. That's another good characteristic to have in a president. So let's go over one more time a quick a quick a review of the list. You must have a, tech, uh, a good president. A good leader is in, has integrity. Doesn't bullshit around. He's honest. Loyal. Courageous. Has a good sense of humor. Knows uh, how to delegate, when to ask for help. So yeah, so there's just some of the, those are just, uh, maybe the key, there's probably some minor little itty ones out there, but those are like the big, huge ones that describe a leader. So my question to all of you out there is, what do you look for in a president? Or whether it's a prime minister or president or whatever you call the leader of your country, or here in the States, what do you look for to in the president of the United States? All right, I'll we'll catch you all a little bit later to wrap up this vlog, but that, that's my question for you. What do you look for in a leader? Back Smith here, and I am Shane. Once again, my question for you is, what characteristics do you look for in a president or the leader of your country? Oh, it's Maximus saying, until next time, thanks for watching this video, weekly edition of the Struggling YouTuber, Pice. The video footage on your left is from last week's vlog. Where the question marks will take you, well, you'll have to wait till next week. I'm Max Smith, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out for now.